Good day everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the game Black Sheep. So I'm going to go over the components really quick and we'll get right on into it. Okay, the first thing you have here are your play mats, your different corrals here, and there's six animals. And uh, these animals are ranked from horse down to the sheep, and these are uh, horse and then cow and then pig, etc. Uh, this is the highest and this is the lowest. Also, we have here your animals over here. And uh, there's a number on the bottom of each of these, and uh, if you can see, uh, this one says 2 right here, and here's another one, the sheep here, and this one says 1. Um, generally, the horse was going to have the highest numbers, and the sheep are going to have negative numbers, so you're going to want to try to avoid collecting the sheep if you can. These here are the cards that you're going to be playing with. Uh, basically, it has all the different types of animals on here, and this game basically plays a lot like poker. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works, of course. And here basically is where you're going to be placing the animals here in this little yard. And you're going to be playing cards um, on your side of the table to try to win these animals into your corral by having the highest hand. So in the beginning of the game, everybody is going to receive three cards. And I've got two cards here, two cows here, and a rooster. And I'll just place this face up. And then we have this guy who has a cow, a sheep, and a black sheep. Uh, so when these cards are dealt out, you go ahead and you're going to take uh, two uh, cards out for each of these. And in this case, you've got two roosters. So what you're going to do is you're going to place two roosters here. Uh, on the next one, you'll go ahead and place a rooster and a pig. And the third one, you'll place a sheep and a horse. So now the way this works is everybody is going to be playing cards on their side of the table and they're going to be banking hands um, and what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to have the highest hand, highest ranked hand in order to win these animals. So if you look here at this card, um, you'll note here that you have the horse and the sheep. The horse is the highest ranked animal and the sheep is the lowest. So if you had two competing hands, one which was three horses and another which was three cows, the three horses would win since they are ranked higher than the three cows. And these also talk about the hands that uh, you can win with. The highest hand would be five of a kind, which would be five of the same animal. Four of a kind, uh, two animals, and then three animals, which is a full house. Three of a kind, two pair, one pair, and then a single. Now, the first two animals that are going to be in the hand are the hands that are going to be in the middle. So in this case, there's already a sheep and a rooster. So if I, for example, had uh, two, three roosters in my hand and I played them, I would end up with four roosters, which would be a four of a kind. And the way you play the cards is you can either play one card or two cards in any one of these playing fields over here. Um, and the other rule you have to remember is that if you play one card, say in this field, on the next turn, you're gonna have to play two cards on this field. Or you can go ahead and play one here on your next turn. So you have three uh, that you can choose from. And uh, whenever you go ahead and play one or two of your cards, you will have the option to discard this card. And then you will go ahead and replenish your cards back up to the three cards. So I'll go ahead and just start playing through here and just let you uh, get an idea how this works. So I'm looking here at my hand, and I got two cows. Now, there are no cows uh, on the board just yet, but I figure maybe what I can do is I can get a full house because there are two roosters here, and I have a rooster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place two cows here on my side of the board, and I'm going to keep this card, and then I'll go ahead and replenish my hand back up to three. So now my opponent goes ahead, and he looks, and he has a cow and a sheep and a black sheep. Um, so the only thing he really has here is a sheep over on this side, which can help him. So he'll go ahead and place a sheep here, like so. And then he will be able to discard one of these cards from his hands if he so chooses. So what he'll go ahead and do is discard this black sheep down here, and he'll go ahead and pick up two cards, um, for his next hand. So now, I'm going to go ahead and go and see what I've got, and I'm going to go ahead and play this rooster. So right now, I'll play the rooster down here, and now I'll have a full house. I'll have three roosters and then these two cows right over here. And I'll go ahead and draw back up to... Now, let's just say, for example, um, um, in the midst of playing... Play let's just say player two has this hand over here. Now, this is going to be closed out, and then you're going to look at the different hands. Since I have a full house, and uh, player two only has two pair, two pigs and two roosters... I will have gone ahead and won these two roosters. So these roosters, I'm going to go ahead and take them and place them here in my corral. And at the end of the game, I'm going to count the points uh, from the bottom of these um, towards my final score. So then what will happen after that is you'll go ahead and place two more animals in there. In this case, it will be a rooster and a sheep. All the cards here are going to be cleared out. 
and then uh, the new animals will be put in there. And so essentially that's how the game goes. You're just going to keep replacing the animals. You'll keep playing cards um, on the little board there and then collecting the animals. Then you're going to go ahead and count up all of the animals that you collected throughout the game on here. And of course the numbers are here on the bottom. And whoever has the highest amount of points at the end of the game is going to win. And that is basically, ladies and gentlemen, how you play Black Sheep.